We have seen an increase uh, in students using the Blunden services over the last uh, several years. It's continuing to rise for a couple of reasons, in a really positive way because more students are accessing post-secondary uh, education who have identified permanent disability. As well, the capacity here at the center has changed over the last couple of years, so the students that are on campus are able to access our services as well. Uh, so at the Blenheim Center, uh, I receive uh, double time to write my exams. I get a, a distraction-reduced environment. I have access to question clarification from the uh, instructor. Um, I can use a laptop to uh, write my exams, and sometimes I have uh, somebody read my exams to me. The accommodations have been um, somewhat vital to my academic success. I tend to get really overwhelmed uh, if I write my exams in uh, like the natural class setting, so being able to write in a smaller group and have more time uh, to, to write my exam is extremely beneficial. Say if I were to write an exam in my class with all my peers, I may get a zero. I may know a lot on that topic and you may walk out of that classroom after the exam and ask me about it and I'll tell you all about it. But because in that setting, I just, there's something there that doesn't come through and when you give me the accommodation, I am successful. In the end, it's, it, you have to put in the work and you have to study. It's not just, oh, because I'm getting open book exam that it's just gonna be easy. In order to have a campus-wide accessible approach, one of the things that we really needed to do a couple of years ago was to look at the philosophy behind supporting students with disabilities. We build in a way that will capture the majority of the people, the largest and greatest amount of people at the same time. And in order to think like that, we had to really reflect on how we look at disability. And so two of the big pieces that have changed over the last couple of years is understanding disability through a social model. And that is that the environment creates barriers to participation in, in ways that people prefer to participate or um, make the most sense of who they are by participating in certain ways. It wasn't really prominent when I came in a month. When I came in, if there were, say, 50 students writing on a Friday at midterms, that was a lot. Now when I go in at 9 a.m. on a Friday at midterm, there could be over 100 students writing that morning. Yeah. They're doing a lot of things like they have a new mentorship program for new students coming in with disabilities. They have the ADHD clinics, um, working groups, working on your writing skills, things like that. There are so many, besides just your accommodations, the Blenheim Center has a lot to offer for building your overall student experience. I think it has helped to um, empower students um, and make them feel more confident in themselves even though they do need access to accommodations. Just because I need them doesn't mean that I'm any less than than somebody who writes the test in a normal setting and gets, you know, the allotted amount of time. The Blunden Center really has helped to, I think, instill that in a lot of students. We understand that when we design, when we create, that's where we actually have to remove barriers that exist and to build in a way that prevents the barrier. So it's not about a person's limitation, it's about understanding the way many people participate in different ways and allowing flexibility and approaches and size and design to reflect that.